Hello, all you coin-loving, coin-collecting, coin aficionados out there, and welcome again to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have two coins for you from the Philippines. Well, we're just going to look at the two smaller ones, but we are going to have a number of guest shots in there, including what we have here, which is the Jose Rizal 1 peso coin. What we're really interested in here is the Lapu Lapu uh, Centimo coins. So you've probably seen this video. We have the Jose Rizal uh, 1974 1 peso in another one of our videos. It's just a big coin. But this uh, Isang Centimo coin is just a small coin. How small is it? Well, you know we've looked before at the 5 Centimo coins. And here's one of them here. Look how big the 5 centimo coin here is compared to the compared to the uh, 1 centimo. So it's just a tiny coin. Um, if you want to look at it compared to a modern um, coin, say we put it next to the 25 centimo coin. Here's a 1998 version of the 20. Look, it's just huge next to it. So these are tiny coins. They are 1 centimo coins. And they have on the front, they have Lapu Lapu. Um, and I was, uh, didn't really know who Lapu Lapu was, so I did a little bit of research. And it turns out that Lapu Lapu is the man uh, who ended Ferdinand Magellan's round the world voyage or Ferdinand Magellan's circumnavigation of the globe by engaging in a battle with Magellan. And Magellan got killed. So Magellan's. Uh, the Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan was killed in the Battle of Mactan on April 27, 1521. And this is the man who led the group that killed him and won the Battle of Mactan. So Lapu Lapu was a Philippine hero, and he is one of the people who was known uh, essentially for fighting for Philippine independence very, very early in the 1500s. So this, if we look at it directly, we see it's a, and I don't know how to pronounce very well, so you, you know that already, Isang Centimo. Here's Lapu Lapu here. It's one, and down underneath it says um, Lapu Lapu in, in his name. Um, I, when looking through it, I, I realized that Lapu Lapu is not only this man's name, but it's also the name of a huge city in the Philippines, Lapu Lapu City, which has about 400,000 people in it. And Lapu Lapu City is part of Metro, I think it's called Cebu. Formerly it was known as Opon, but now it's called Lapu Lapu. It was renamed in 1961. We turn these up, we see that they have smooth edges. This is a 1969. We turn this up, another smooth edge, and another 1969. So on the back, what we see of this coin is Republica in Pilipinas. And down here, we can blow this up a little bit, and we see the same thing across the bottom in the banner. And this, of course, is the coat of arms or shield of the Philippines with the three stars and the sun and the eagle and the lion coming across it. Now, if we go to look at both of these coins are exactly the same year because it was just easier. That way we could flip them over and show front and back. When you... Um, look at these coins and try to figure out how many they were made. Sometimes it's a little hard to do. But our numbers show that in 1969 there were 12 million of these made and that this coin is worth about 50 to 55 cents U.S. in this condition. So this is kind of a collector's coin uh, simply because it's so small. It's such a, it was, it's a really low value. So when this coin came out, it was worth 0.1 Philippine peso. So there were a hundred of these to a Philippine peso. 
It's an aluminum coin. It weighs 0.5 grams, is 15.25 millimeters in diameter and 1.37 millimeters in thickness. So look for this coin. It's a tiny coin. A lot of collectors like it because it's just so different from many of the other Filipino coins. And if you find it, um, it may be that it has a little bit, it has a lot more value than when it was originally in circulation. Um, and it's a just a nice coin for collectors. Good luck coin hunting out there. And please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section for DC Coin World International Coin Channel.